there is one thing called renunciation or let go or tyag. Detachment is dispassion or viragya. Detachment is to be at ease with the presence or absence of something in your life. And I'll tell you my favorite story on detachment. There was a Zen monk. He uh, practiced extreme austerities throughout his life and uh, managed to get to a stage where he could manifest anything in his life. So a voice said to him, look, I'm very happy with you. I'll give you a choice. Tell me what do you want. First, infinite wisdom. And second, infinite wealth. And third, infinite beauty. And he thought for a moment, he said, you know, what will I do with the wealth? It's temporary. It's going to go out of my hands. And what would I do with my beauty anyway? It's all going to wither away one day. Clearly, I'm a monk and I need to help people. So he chose infinite wisdom. Now, as soon as he was blessed with infinite wisdom, a couple of minutes passed and he said to his disciples, you know, I think I made a mistake. I should have gone for infinite money. <laughs> I should have gone for infinite wealth. Now, he's, remember, he's a lot more intelligent than you and I. He's blessed with infinite wisdom. And out of that wisdom, he discovered he should have gone with infinite wealth. <laughs> Because he felt he could have made more difference to the world with his wealth than with his wisdom. If you look at uh, the likes of uh, Warren Buffett and uh, even Bill Gates, uh, I really admire them for the amount of detachment they have shown with their wealth by putting it to use for the welfare of people. And you know, the greatest mistake you can think when it comes to charity or detachment or even compassion that you will have it when you have a lot. People say, you know, when my house is paid off and uh, when my car is paid off and uh, I have some savings, then I will do A, B, C or X, Y, Z. But it doesn't work like that. If you don't have that mindset now, you will never have that mindset even later. If you don't feel the urge to show compassion with 5 rupees when you have 50 in your pocket, you won't feel the need to show compassion with 5,000 rupees when you would have 50,000 rupees. <coughs> because it's not how much you can give, it's how much you are willing to do. And nobody really needs your money, you know. There are people absolutely loaded with cash in this world. Nobody really needs your money. At least you could speak nice words. At least you could help somebody. At least you could be of use to somebody. And that's what really compassion is. If you are detached with your body, then you would use this body to do some seva, to do some service to the community, to the society, to any cause, whatever. If you're detached with your money, you will use a portion of your money to help others. If you're detached from your sense of ego, then you will use yourself to help somebody. If somebody gives you grief, you won't shout back at that person. You won't yell at them, you won't you know, pinpoint their mistakes and so on and so forth. And that's what I mean <clears throat> by detachment. Detachment doesn't mean that you quit. So if I quit tea, coffee and so on, that's not detachment. That's tyag. That's to let go, that's to give up. Detachment is a lot more superior than letting go. Detachment is to feel okay if you have a cup of coffee and to feel okay if you don't have it either. It's to be okay remembering and knowing 
like I just wrote in my post, that trees can always be green. You know, it's knowing that not all moments in your day, in your life, can be the same. They are designed to change.